Alright, hello and welcome back. In the last episode, in case you missed it, we met our 12th Colossus. Uh, he's been a pain in the ass. Not because he's difficult, mostly because I just don't know what to do. So, yeah. So we're going to try it again. We're going to try it from the beginning. Because I did see that when he does his initial attack, when he gets on all fours, he kind of just gets stuck there for a little bit. So I'm going to see if that's kind of how we're supposed to be them. I have no idea. Because it says get to high, cross to higher ground, but I don't I don't see any higher ground. Either way, let's jump into it. He's right there. He is a, a dick of the highest order. And let's shoot some arrows out, because it's fun. Come on, boy. I'm over here. I think he's blind, but I can't really tell. Magic arrow when you need one. Oh, hey, you like that? That one hit your skin, I think. By higher ground, I don't know if he means that, but I can't climb it and I have no idea where it actually is. Also, I realize now that the jump from that to that dude's head would probably drop all my health. I'm not actually doing anything here. It just brings me an immense amount of satisfaction to hurt him. Cool. Come on, dude. Let's do this. Leathery skin. Gross. So he's going to go on all fours, and we're going to try to get on his tail. Stay, stay, be a good boy. You're good. You're you're a beautiful fish. You're ah, oh, you oh, son of a bastard. You're my second favorite fish. I promise. Yes, bastard. I'm going to make you regret ever crawling from the frickin' ocean. I might celebrate with some sushi tonight. Let's do this. Yeah, it's the second time I've used this joke in this way. I did say they go to higher ground. I'm on higher ground, I guess. Am I moving him? 
I think I am. Still attached. Barely. Get your ass up there. Shimmy, shimmy. Up there. Makes sense to get to higher ground. I guess the highest ground I get to is. Oh no, no, that that that's not nice. I also saw that there was no soft spot for him up there. So where is it? Here by hitting those teeth with the air with the arrows. Uh, maybe. I'm right here, big boy. See you, bastard. Bet, 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 bet. I guess I have to run back to my original spot. And repeat the process. though, I mean, I feel like that would be pretty cool. Hello, lizard man. Cthulhu looking mother... I'm still here, bro. I ain't scared. My man ain't raised no punk. Let's do this. I'm right here, bro. You know what? You need some motivation. Take these wooden arrows that cannot penetrate your freaking hide. Take that. And that, good sir. Some of this. Also that. Can I just... I mean, he won't turn around. I can just climb him. I'm almost there. I can't believe it actually works. Nice. Let's get rid of his teeth. That has a lot more control than I would. I would get so bad with motion sickness if this happened to me, bro. I'd be ruining everyone's day.
Huzzah! Raise thine head, noble steed. Not that much. Seriously, not that much. Go over there. Move forward. This works. Haha. Stone is non conductive. Apparently, water isn't either, but you know, we're not talking about that. Show me that belly. Whoa. One more, come on, let me get two more at least. Really? How the hell did I end up back here? Oh, okay. Appreciate you, game. Oh, so much for that pillar. Altar, whatever. Gotta get him to turn around. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, he follows orders better than Arthur. So, can we just adopt him instead? Don't don't tell the horse I said that. He's very emotional. I don't. I wouldn't want it to get hurt. Bro, you're so close. It's so weird how he does that shimmy if you get too close to it. Like the game doesn't understand what you're trying to do. It's hilarious. That's good enough. You would think if your weakest part of your body is your stomach, which it kind of is, that you would just not expose it. You would just do everything in your power not to, right? Almost didn't make that one. Huzzah, motherfucker! Thunder of the lake. Annoyance of the lake is more like. I wonder if I was supposed to get him to destroy all of those shrines or structures. Infect me with your darkness. Only a little more to go. I mean, that looks pretty damn ominous to me. Are these guys going to stop me from completing my mission? Or are they going to tell me that, yo, uh, you've been doing some of the devil's work and you need to stop this immediately?
another giant sand snake? You thou art not alone. What do you mean I'm not? Is he saying that the snake is not alone? I'm calling him a snake because I have no nothing else to know. Um, I'm curious how many are left though. I feel like this entire wall is done. Oh, there's one, which I'm pretty sure that's the one that I'm going after right now. That's one, two, three. four Colossus left. And the one I just finished doing was a 12th one, I think, so maybe 16. Which is probably how old uh, myself and his intended are. I don't know. This guy never questioned that the fact that they some somebody built a temple to these creatures and then put monuments to them everywhere that they were maybe, you know, good. Didn't even question it. Um, I was going to do a second episode. I mean, a second Colossus in this episode. But I think I'm actually just going to wrap up a wee bit early. Because it usually takes me like 10 minutes to find the Colossus. And however long it takes me to actually bring them down. Okay. So, that would just make the episode a bit longer than I wanted it to be. So, I am going to wrap up here. As always, if you do like the episode, if you do like the series, or if you just like the channel... Make sure you hit like and subscribe. Grow support the channel. Grow with help grow. And I will check you out in the next one as we take down another sandworm. Peace.